I want to talk now about cube numbers very briefly. We know what square numbers are. Yeah, a square number is if I have a square and length is, for instance, 3. Yeah, then the area of that square is 9. That makes 9 a square number, 3 times 3. Yeah. Now a cube number works the same, but then we're talking about cubes indeed. So in this scenario, if I would sketch a cube, now what is the volume of this cube? Yeah. That is going to be 3 times 3 times 3. Yeah. Length, width, times the height to find the volume. And that is 9 times 3, 27. And that makes 27 a cube number. Now you do not necessarily have to remember all those cube numbers, but it is good to um, know a few of them. So the smallest cube number would be 1 times 1 times 1. Yeah which is one. And then the second cube number, two times two times two, yeah, so two to the power of three, two times two is four times two is eight. Now, if you just told yourself, oh, the answer is six, don't worry, you're not the only one, but stop saying that two to the power of three is six. Eh? This is not two times three, no, that is two times two times two. So the cube number is eight. Now, 3 to the power 2, yeah, no, that's not 9, it is 27, okay? So it's okay to make that mistake now, but please learn from it, eh? 3 to the power 3, that means 3 times 3 times 3, that's 27. And I still see students in year 12 who say it's 9, and it is just not very impressive. Yeah. 4 cubed, yeah, the next cube number, so 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 equals 64, okay? Let's do one more, 5 to the power of 3, that would be 125.